Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Morgan Flowers. If you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're not new here, hey boo, welcome to another weekly vlog. Today is Sunday. I just got off work. I wanted to check in though because last yesterday, Saturday, you guys saw me putting on a new comforter. And when I say the comforter, it's comforting. It feels so good. Like I don't know if it's just the fact that it's new. Like you know how you get something new and every all of a sudden everything is peaches and cream. But that comforter is so fluffy, so soft. Um, I did go for white, which is risky um, because I was thinking too, in other people's homes, they're not like, people don't sit on their beds as casually as I do because I'm in the studio. So it's like, I don't have that many places to sit. Whereas like, if you're in a regular house, you can go sit on your couch. You can lounge around in different places other than your bed. So I'm like, that, you know, trying to keep the white like fresh and so clean, clean might be a little bit of a extra, some extra like, oomph into it um and try not to just sit on my bed and like not even just like outside clothes but just like i just be chilling or like or say if in the morning i wake up i take a shower i chill on my bed i'm doing my work i'm editing my vlog i'm on my bed as opposed to sitting somewhere else where i'm not like just sitting in my bed all day you know so i'm gonna try and keep the white as crisp as i possibly can <laughs> But it was actually, the comforter was actually on sale. I'll link it below. I don't know if it's still on sale, but it was on sale when I got it. And it's not that expensive in general. Like, the regular price is not that expensive. Y'all know comforters can be pricey. So, that was really, comfort, that was really comfortable. Um, what you guys are about to see next, I went out to dinner. I went out to breakfast this morning. And I'm jumping in the vlog because, like I said, I didn't, I didn't do any intro. I didn't want to just jump into everything without saying hi. So what you guys about to see next, I went out to breakfast this morning. Just a couple little clips, and by the time you guys see me again, it'll be like tomorrow. <laughs> okay, see you guys later. Wait, one last thing, I lied. I meant to say, every time I use the retinol, y'all, like the retinol on the skin, chef's kiss. It's going to do it every single time. When I wake up in the morning, my skin is bright, my skin is clear, my skin is um, hydrated. Like, it looks so good. The Dr. Dennis Gross retinol. And it's so funny, y'all. This is why you got to tag brands and stuff. Because I tagged this on my, my story. And they reached out and was like, hey, we would love to send you our new mailer. Da, 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 da. I said, bet. Absolutely you can. Because I, yeah, yeah. So the retinol, this is a texture renewal serum. And it has advanced retinol and ferulic. I guess it's an acid. And then this one is just an overnight wrinkle treatment. I use these together. Sometimes I use them separately. Like I may just put the cream one. I may just do the serum. But for the most part, absolutely. Now, Dr. Dennis Gross does run pretty steep, like as far as price goes. But it does, I've had this, I, don't, I can't even tell you guys when I got this. It's definitely been like, it definitely was like last year at some point. It's been a minute since I, what was it? Time, my perception of time is fried. I don't even know. What, I don't know when I got this, y'all. But it, <laughs> it's definitely been a minute. It was not, this is not a recent, you know, um, add on to my skincare. So. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna chill. Like I said, I just got off work. I'm about to take my shower, chill, watch some Love Island, and that's it. Okay, bye. What did I tell? Look at my skin. I do have a pimple. Ignore that. That this is not retinol related. This is something else. <laughs> but my skin looks so nice and glowy. And the retinol, I promise y'all, like that's literally what does it for me every single time. So I'm just wearing. Y'all, I'm not going anywhere. Let's let me say that first. I'm not going anywhere. All I'm doing. Let me just say this real quick. <laughs> First things first, I've had a very slow morning. Like, I can't even, I don't know why. I just, like, laying in bed. Like, I don't, I just, it's 11.30. And I'm just now, like, taking my shower, getting dressed. I'm about to, I don't have anything on my stomach, so I'm about to just go get a matcha. Y'all know the vibes. But, like, I don't have, I don't have anything to do. But I've had an extremely, 
incredibly slow morning and I hate it though like I need to like get back on my zoom but anyway I'm just wearing this pair of light wash jeans jeans in this little like beater looking top my claw clip is just cheetah and I'm wearing my beat up y'all don't judge me my beat up Yeezy slides y'all look at the back look at <laughs> these are my work slides like I I didn't even when I first bought them I was wearing them for a second and then I started wearing them to work and then it was over I wear these every day to work so um they're beat up like so bad but I'm just wearing them today just because I feel like the outfit is super casual the pants have like a little bit of a flare to them like not a flare they're more like a straight leg I'm gonna show you guys in the other mirror in a second but what I want to do I just want to put a mighty patch on for the pimple just really quickly I meant to do this when I was in my bathroom <clears throat> but here we are just gonna do the mighty patch and this is the invisible one I'm gonna link these below if anyone cares I was just put onto these y'all I've heard about them of course but I've never purchased like I've never thought to purchase them um until one day I put on my story like oh my gosh I had such a I had such a a couple things to do like a busy week and I had a pimple and everybody was like have you tried the pimple patches like yada 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 I had like three people say it and I was like hmm where did that pimple just go over oh, right here like did I put that on right I should have probably used an actual mirror and not my camera hold on okay it's on <laughs> um I'm just gonna keep it on because I'm again I'm not going anywhere I do have to work later but I just decided to put something on I guess just to combat the laziness of the day like I was already like eh. So, whatever that sound was, I was, <laughs> that's how I was feeling. So, I'm like, you know what, let me just put some clothes on. I don't, I'm not even, I'm literally going to get a drink. That's it. But anyway, um, sunglasses of the day. These are from Cotton On. They're extremely dirty. These are from Cotton On. I bought these in store. I feel like I tried to link them before and I couldn't find them. But if I can find any, like, yellow, black shade like this, I'm going to link it. Because these are just so stinking cute. And they just elevate the outfit every time. Like every single time. My stomach's about to growl. But they just, look, y'all probably couldn't hear it, but it just growled. Um, but these are just everything. I just love the little touch they, they just give. <laughs> and then for my bag, I'm just wearing this ADW bag. Super old. She now has, ADW is a black owned business based in Philly. And she actually... She has her bags now in Urban Outfitters. They're like on the Urban Outfitters site and stuff. She ate. So she doesn't sell this one anymore, but she has a different bag. It's called a Gami bag. I think it's G-A-M-I. I think that's how you pronounce it. But just her whole like collection, her catalog, just her old stuff is all Chef's Kiss. Like I said, black owned. And it's just super, like I just love this little bag. It doesn't have any type of clasp, but I literally just throw my camera in here. It's really wide, like I just, I love it. I should get the Gami bag too so I can show you guys the vibes. And then for my perfume, I'm just going to do the Poison Girl by Dior. I haven't picked this one up in a minute. Yeah, it's very warm, very vanilla-y. I haven't picked it up in a good minute, but. And it kind of like does give me nighttime vibes. I don't know what about. <laughs> I don't know what it is about it, but. I haven't picked it up in a while. And I have so many fragrances that are starting to collect and build. So I need to use them. Okay. Some of my perfumes I literally don't wear. And after canvases and cocktails, I was like, oh my gosh, I should have given some away. Like, I really should have just gave some away. Like, I don't, some of them I genuinely do not pick up. I just don't like the smell of them. I may, they may have been like a blind buy type of situation. I should have given them away. Like, for real. Um, Because now they're just sitting here. Collecting dust. So let me take my mirror. I mean, not my mirror, my camera. And yeah, let's go. He said the universe when I'm the company is a and B. Same. Um, can I add a vanilla to that? Of course you can. Well, pretty for you. And that'll be all for me. You're still in 1355. Your feet's already in the oven. We'll see the window, okay? Thank you. I'm all far from the window. Ugh. Wait, let me see. Hi. Hi, I love your sunglasses. Thank you. This one does. I have I'm a. Really sick to you. Thank you. You're I'm not sure. I I have the gift card on here. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. Oh, of course I don't have any cash. And I have. Oh, she left the window. Do I have sixty-five? I'm an exact change, girly. <laughs> oh, hi. This is a three sixty-five. Three. And so I'm so far. What did I give her? Oh, my camera's about to die. My camera's about to die. <laughs> so I just ran back in the house so that I could get um, a book because I was like, you know what, maybe I'll just sit at the park. Like not at, outside of the park, but just like in the car, roll my windows down and um, just chill. So I got the Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow book. Y'all like, <sighs> me and reading don't get along. Not anymore. I told you this already, but I'm gonna try and actually read today. Just something, you know, even if it's a couple pages. Um, so I went back inside, I pull off, you know, I'm minding my business. And I'm like about to leave and I'm like, oh my gosh, let me bust this Yui because I forgot to get a camera battery. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm happy that I remember it before I left and got to the park because then I wouldn't be able to talk to y'all, <laughs> um, which is a part of what I wanted to do too. But anyway, Masha's eating. Um, again, like I said, I came to the park just to chill y'all. I have to, it's 12 o'clock. I have to be to work at two, so. I was like, let me just sit out here for a little bit. Like I said, I'm gonna try and read because me and reading is not, me and reading just be button heads. But that's a part of me like getting back on my Zoom. Like that's a part of me getting into what I wanna get into. Going back to the gym, y'all, I haven't been to the gym. And a part of it is because I came on my cycle. So when I'm on my cycle, I don't wanna go to the gym on my cycle. I just don't, I don't wanna be bothered. I just don't, I don't feel like it. My stomach hurt, like, I just don't feel like it. I, yeah, I don't feel like it. So that happened, and then I got my hair done after that, and I was like, I'm not going to the gym and sweating out my hair. It's not happening. Mm-mm. And a part of that too, I literally tweeted this, y'all. I tweeted that like, I'm truly in the, mm, we as black women, we're like, it can't be, mm, how should I say this? How should I say this? But basically, I'm not gonna speak for black women in general, but I will say that like, me getting my hair straightened is just not, it just don't, it doesn't fall in sync with day-to-day -day stuff. Like, I, if I get my hair straightened, I'm not going to the gym. I'm just not, because I'm gonna sweat my edges out. But it's like, should I be getting my hair, maybe you just shouldn't straighten your hair. Like, maybe I should just wear my hair in its natural state. Because me in the gym and my hair, because I don't want to like keep repressing my edges and I'm straightening them to death. I gotta buy a hot comb because my my roots is tore up. Like I hate that. It's kind of how my hair look like right. My hair look a little tore up right now. So at this point, I can't go back to the gym. But when I first get my hair done, I'm not going to the gym. I'm just not. Mm -mm. If I got some braids in, oh yeah. Goddess locks, oh yeah. But straighten, girls. Mm mm. It's just not happening. So I started to question myself, like maybe I should just stop straightening my hair. <laughs> maybe I should just pick a different style. Um, but you know, this is just a go-to. A go I love a claw clip look. Like I just love just pin it, clipping my hair up. Um, but just Morgan thoughts. That's all, child. Um, so I'm about to eat this, this, this little thing. What is this? This is the first time I got this. Bacon sausage wrap. This is the first time I got this. I usually get the the feta wrap, the feta, feta spinach wrap, but of course they were out of it. Um, or I'll get the impossible sandwich, which I recently discovered is not, well not recently, but I was getting the impossible sandwich, me and my, my boo, we were getting the impossible sandwich and we discovered that it's not impossible. Like it's not vegan. <laughs> the sausage is impossible. That's insane to me. Like how y'all trying to market it as an impossible sandwich and the ch it's cheese on it. It's like ch actual cheese. Like y'all, it should have been impossible the whole nine. Like the whole sandwich should have been like vegan or whatever. But it's just a sausage. Why would I just want an so impossible sausage? Regular cheese. That's insane. That's insane to me. Y'all should just, might as well just give me a regular sandwich. What do I need an impossible sandwich for? What do I need an impossible sausage and I got... <laughs> um, but okay, I'm about to just try this, and then I'm just gonna read and chill. Excuse me, turn my car off. Let me see what the what, what the wind is like. Should I turn my car off? Mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna turn it off for a little bit because I love just sitting here with my windows rolled down. You hear the birds chirping, people are running. 
I should be out here with them. But again, that's a part of me getting back on my Zoom. But okay, I'm about to try this. Wait, let me try. Have y'all tried this yet? Let me see. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. Oh no. Oh no. I don't like that. Bacon like this. Uh oh. Uh. Wow, Morgan. Ew. Mm mm. Hey guys. <laughs> We're back in this spot. Happy Tuesday. It's 6 30 in the morning. Um <laughs> And we're about to go on a little walkie walk. Y'all, I was on TikTok this morning. And you know, the talk of the town is the Montgomery boat fight. You guys are probably, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it by now. This Montgomery boat fight. And I think there's a lot of takes on it. Most of them are positive. But I think that like, people are like, well, why do y'all like, why do y'all care about this so much? Or like, why is this something that people are cheering on? But it's just like, it's so it's so refreshing to see us have unity. It's so refreshing to see us all come together. And then I was watching this TikTok and it was like, imagine if they were saying, cause this guy was complaining about how a woman got hit with the chair. And they were saying like, we saw it. We saw them get hit with a chair. We saw the lady get hit with a chair. She wanted to be out there tussling. I would never jump in a man's fight, me personally. Okay, because I know stuff like that can happen. Men in the fight are not going to have regard for me. I know if I jump into a man's fight, I might get hit by a man. I know that. No shade. Um, but he was like, what, um, what would have happened if no one came to that black man's aid, the black security guard? What would have happened if we just all allowed him to get jumped? What would have happened? He would have, not he would have went to jail, but... He would have been seriously out there hurt. Just as violence has done to black men in the past. It's no secret. So, um, I'm happy. We all came together. We all came together. We ride at dawn. You know? And I was like, uh, it was just... <laughs> it was refreshing. I'm not gonna lie. It was. It was refreshing. I was like, yeah, y'all. Period. <laughs> y'all, mind you, it's 6 in the morning. It's 6 in the morning. But I have had coffee. We ride that on. Um, I respect it. I respect it. I'm happy to see so many people come together and protect this man because he was doing his job, number one. Number two, he got hit first. If you guys saw, there were so many different clips, y'all. First of all, all the different angles. <laughs> like, every time I see another video of it, the story, something else gets discovered. I didn't know they were singing the song. Did y'all know they were singing the song when the boat? They were singing the song for them to move the boat. I forgot how the song was going, but they were literally, there was a band playing the song. Everyone was like jokingly laughing, like, move the boat, move the boat. Like, they're singing. That was the first time I ever saw that clip. I said, yo, that's so funny. Every time another, every time another clip gets added to the story, it gets funnier. Or not funnier, it just gets like, oh my gosh, there's more to the story. But, um, it just kind of like is what it is, you know? Um, but yeah, that's my little spin, my little spiel this morning. Y'all, look at, this is the only hat I own. If you can see what it says, is the camera focusing? You probably can't see. It says Margarita. You guys know when Twitter like first came out and we everybody jumped on Twitter. This was like 2010, 2009. Like what, what year was that? Oh my gosh, it's been so long since Twitter first launched. But as a kid, you know, we're all migrating from MySpace and we all got on Twitter, Facebook, you know, and then we got on Twitter. And everyone had creative names. Like, if y'all remember that, I don't know if it was just, like, Jersey. I don't know what it was. I don't know if that was, like, a, a thing that, like, kids our age were doing. But we all had our names in the at name somehow. Like, if your name was Ty, your name would be, like, Ty My Shoe. Or, like, <laughs> or if your name was, if your nickname was Sassy, your name would be, like, kiss my sass like it would be something very like funny like that and my name was margarita like a margarita it was margarita that was the only <laughs> that was the only thing i could think of but that was my at name and then when i was younger i literally got just margarita on a hat and it just i've had this hat for i can't even tell you how long it's just kind of it was like something funny i did well, whatever but this only hat i got and my hair looks a hot mess i'm supposed to be going to new york this weekend i can't wait to film all that but we're going to new york this weekend 
That'll of course be in the next vlog because this one ends tomorrow. But we're going to New York this weekend. So I need to do something with my hair. I don't know what I'm doing yet, but we'll figure it out. So I'm gonna just get my my ID. I don't know, I guess my ID and stuff. Of course my air my ear, earphones. I'm literally just going on a walk. If I decide I feel like running, then I'll just go for a jog, but child, where's my wallet? Oh here it is. Child, I'm just skipping over it. Oh, I need a pack. I need to get some water too. So let me get a water before I forget. Before I forget. Okay, I am home. Y'all, just a little crooked there. <laughs> I think that's better. Um, but I had a great little walk. My goal was to be out there between like 40, 45 minutes, but it started raining. So I only was able to get a mile in, but what I did was I was running in like one minute spurts. Like I would just look at my stopwatch for a minute. Kind of like, not like a jog. It's between like a jog and a a sprint like I wasn't like full blown running but for a minute I would do like a, a bit of a run so it felt pretty good I did get rained on my hair got messed up even more than it was already um but I had the hat on so it was just like my little ponytail that got messed up um but you know it is what it is <laughs> um so yeah I'm actually about to take a little nap I wanted to go out for a moment um I need to go to the post office and, and send some things off. So I'm not trying to sleep for too long because I know the post, it's eight o'clock now. So I know the post office um, opens, it's probably open now, honestly. So I don't, I wanna get that out of the way. I don't wanna be out, you know, too late. I do have to work later, of course. Um, so I wanna get that out of the way. I kinda wanted to stop at the mall because I wanted to go, um, so Saturday, Saturday I'm going to New York. I told you guys that. It was my boo's birthday, so we're going to New York and just kind of chilling for the day. Um, and I saw this cargo skirt that I wanted to get. It's just a little cargo skirt um, that I wanted to get for New York. I was thinking it might be cute. It's like a tan belted like mini skirt and it's kind of cute. I thought it was cute. But I don't know, I don't know. It's honestly like summer's practically over, which is crazy. It's insane that summer's almost over. So, it's like, do I really need to get a cargo skirt right now? Just for New York? Well, it's not just for New York. I would definitely wear it again, but um, I don't know. I'll figure it out. But we're definitely going to the post office and stuff, so I'm going to take a little quick nap, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> it's been hours. It is now 1.10. Ugh, I couldn't even get up. Like, I was trying to sleep for only a decent amount of time. It's high. I have to work at three so like i said i have to go to the post office i thought about going to the mall but i'm not gonna do that because it's just me like i don't know me seeing me being impulsive that's all it is <laughs> so i'm gonna just be quiet and mind my business be quiet and mind my business um i have this little my old this aritia jacket this is not appropriate for this weather but i didn't feel like actually looking for like a, I don't know I just wanted to throw something on I don't care I don't even care <laughs> I don't even care um but my hair was actually laying down which I was surprised by since it got drenched like not drenched but my hair was you know puffy whatever reverting back to its original state and I put just I just it was like a little bit wet and I still had the product on and I just brushed it down and put a scarf on and I just been wearing a scarf and so it's it's back to normal like low-key let me go i kind of don't feel like it i have a stomach ache but let me go y'all i'm about to get some shrimp and broccoli <laughs> it's a chinese store right here you know how they be like you just smell it when you're near something and i just smell chinese food and i'm like i should get some shrimp and broccoli or some low shrimp lo mein <gasps> oh okay let me hurry up because i'm hungry USPS. Okay, yeah, this is right the right place. Cause you know the UPS and the USPS. All right, let me go. <laughs> How do I smell the Chinese and they're not open? very rude uh so now i'm stuck now i'm fixated on shrimp and broccoli okay i have one more place to go i need to go to ups now over that ceiling unique category 
Sit. Sit. Whip. Whip. I'm getting some shrimp and broccoli. You know, um, I've already put it in my head that I want shrimp and broccoli. I want that because I, I can eat some now and then I can also have some for later when I go to work. And then I'm doing a double at work today, y'all. So, oops, sorry, sir. I didn't see him coming up. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Unicorn is the uniform you put on eyes for you when you perform. I'm about to tear this food up. I'm not supposed to be eating it. I'm about to tear it up though. I'm gonna go grocery shopping tomorrow because it's much, much needed. Like much needed. Um, I ended up just getting a, what did I get? I got shrimp lo mein. Cause I was either between shrimp and broccoli or shrimp lo mein. I haven't had either one in a minute. And I didn't want, um, which way am I going? I didn't want to do the shrimp and broccoli because I feel like I might, I need like some rice or something. Like I need the noodle. I need something else to go with the shrimp and broccoli. So I was like, you know what? I just get the shrimp lo mein. I just got an egg roll and a, and a homemade tea. So, ah, I'm so hungry, y'all. And mind you, my stomach was hurting. Like I was nauseous. And it was just the weirdest thing. Now, granted, I did, I don't know, I had coffee this morning. You know how coffee makes you like makes you go to the bathroom and stuff? But that wasn't the feeling. I just felt like nauseous. Um, so maybe I'll feel, well, I, I have, I do feel better, basically. I was gonna say maybe I'll feel better by the time I go to work, but I do feel better. Um, which is why I'm about to tear this food up. And, and yeah, so this week, we have a couple things to do in our, in, um, we have a couple things to do this week, y'all. Me and my sister are going to dinner with our stepmom. I don't know if I told you guys my dad. I did. My dad got married randomly. Didn't tell nobody. So. Yeah, I felt some type of way. Told us weeks later. Mind you, you know what's even funnier is that like I saw my dad and his, his new wife after they got married, but they didn't tell me that they were married. Like, what possesses somebody to do that? I said, not your firstborn. I just spit, excuse me. I said, not your firstborn. But you know, it is what it is. I just wanted to be happy. It was more about like, just being happy they got married rather than me harping on the fact that they didn't let nobody know. Or like we were last to know. <laughs> um, but you know, I'm well not last, of course he, told his, his friends and stuff after us stuff like well i guess but you know but you know you guys know what i mean i was just want i wanted to be happy for them in the moment i didn't want to fixate and like make it about that you know it's just like oh you know what? i'm happy for you all because um i knew that that would be the woman he would marry i love i love her her name is sabrina love sabrina so we're going to dinner with me and tana are going to dinner with her um this week and I think, and it's so funny, I have this theory in my head about what sparked it because, because me and my dad were, talk, were texting and he was like, or he asked me, was I dating? And like, my thing about my dad, y'all, I, my dad is a dad when it comes to dating. Like, you don't introduce anybody to your dad. Like, you know, I just, and not even introduce like meet, but like talk about, like, I don't even put people into the air with my dad because the million questions come it's very much like who is this person like who are you talking to why do you like him you know like the question rundown comes in and I just I didn't feel like doing that so he's like why don't you talk to me like about dating and stuff and I'm just like well you know you have a, a, a track record of how you've treat uh, how you treated my ex in the past y'all we had a whole like not falling out but me and my dad were not on good terms I'm gonna get to that story one day me and my dad were not on good terms about me and my ex. Let me know if y'all want a little tea time. But that's the whole like thing. And I was just like, ever since then, mm -mm, I'm not talking about nothing. Now granted, my dad was right. So I do give him props for that. But at the same time, I, it just was a way that he went about it and everything that I wasn't, um, I wasn't feeling. So, um, but yeah, we're not doing that. You, you, you wanna meet, he, my dad's gonna meet somebody is gonna be like, the person that's like relationship like that's my man my man my man like he like my boyfriend my boyfriend my boyfriend like you know <laughs> it has to be really really something 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 like for sure something before i even talk about anybody with my father so he's like why don't you talk about like 
why don't you let me know like what's going on and it's like i know that i should because my dad he like i said he was right about my previous relationship so it's not like he just be talking out his behind like he know what he's talking about but um i just don't feel like it <laughs> so after that after me and my dad had that conversation it turned into I, of, course, of course my dad's wife was probably going to reach out anyway because we do like to like connect and stuff like that you know it's important um relationship building um so she would have probably reached out anyway but she definitely reached out after that conversation with me and my dad because i was just like yeah like you know i know you i know what you're gonna say already like i know what my dad's opinion would be about some of my decisions <laughs> so i just don't talk about them <laughs> i just don't tell them um so she reached out after that and i was like i wonder if I'm pretty sure they talked about it, but I wonder if that was like how the dominoes fell in that situation. So, so we're going out to dinner this week, and I'm excited because um, she's a really sweet woman. Uh, like I said, I knew that that would be the one my dad would marry. I'm like, when y'all get married? This was years ago. I'm like, when y'all get married? So I'm glad they decided to tie the knot and everything. Um, and then, like I said, we're going to New York this weekend, so it's going to be a busy next vlog. I'm really excited. Got a couple things to do. And then um, I told you guys about the event that I pitched to. That's next weekend. So we have a couple things lined up. The fact that summer is almost over is very rude because I did want to go to the beach. I wanted to go to the beach and have a nice beach day. Solo or not. Like, I just wanted to go to the beach. It didn't matter. I wanted to go to the pool. Here we are. So hopefully we have a good hot day before, like, in, in like, the last weeks of August. Hopefully. So that, um... We can do that together. So, okay. I'm going to get my food. I'm going to show you guys my food. It's almost 2 o'clock, so really, like, I won't really have a whole lot of time to eat it. I might have to eat it at work. Yeah, I might have to take it to work with me and eat it at work. Um, so, or start eating it at work. But I will talk to you guys. Where am I about to put this iced tea? They be all big. Where am I about to put it? My cup holders can't fit them big, them big cups. I'll figure it out, y'all. When I tell y'all, back in everywhere. Like, I'm so serious. Just pull me out. No back camera, too. Yeah, it's no back camera. It's all skill. <laughs> I literally put the drink in my bag. This is the ADW bag I showed you guys yesterday, but like, it doesn't fit in my cup holder. Oh, it does a little bit. Okay, the bottom does. All right, that's fine. <laughs> the bottom fits a little bit in the cup holder. And I just got a little small, just a small. And then I got a shrimp roll. Oh, I'm about to tear that food up. Oh, do I feel like? Oh no, I'm going home. We're going home and eating first. <laughs> no, it's not, it's not even two o'clock yet. I live maybe what, 10 minutes away. So I don't have to leave for work until like 2.30. So I'm gonna get a couple bites in before I need to be out. The dough. You can't turn that way, why? Oh. Oh, I'm not supposed to turn this way. Hmm. I'm turning. <laughs> I'm going. Thank you. Um, but yeah, so I'm about to go home, grub. I'm gonna show you guys my food when I get home. I was gonna eat in the car, but I really don't like eating in the car. I really rather, I'd rather be seated, chilling, maybe in front of a TV, preferably when I'm eating. <laughs> when I'm eating, um. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys in a second. Okay. Oh, let's see if they felt like working today. Let's see. Now this Chinese store, you know there's a million Chinese stores. But this one is one that like, when I lived with my old roommate, she used to love this one and we would just would automatically go there. So I kind of got this from her. So this, oh my God, thank you. Ugh. I'm like, thank you, meal duck sauce. That's insane. But we got it. Bags cured. Let's see if they felt like working today. First sweet tea test. Not me doing a mukbang. It's giving uh, Nicole right now with the mukbang. <laughs> My girl Nicole. I'm put her page on the screen. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They felt like working with that. All right. Yeah, I mean it's a classic. It's a cl classic tea. Sweet. It's probably too sweet. More more sugar than I should be consuming, honestly. 
So I'm not gonna drink that whole thing. Not gonna drink the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's steaming. Let me get out the frame because Hmm. Hmm. And put some soy sauce. Oh, it smells so good. Okay. So I just got a small. This is a okay, they could have added a little more shrimp up in here. They could have added some more shrimp in here. Not gonna lie. It looks really good though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's see what we got. I definitely need two packs of duck sauce when I eat egg rolls. Like I have to put it on every little bite. Not this not the first bite. <laughs> Mm. Mhm. Mm Very good and flaky. Mhm. Mm I can't stop saying mhm. Mm <sighs> <laughs> from when I wash my face um but I just want to check in um and I vis as you guys just saw I was trying to plan for what I'm gonna wear for later tonight I'm going out to dinner I told you guys with my stepmom ah my stepmom and my sister so I was trying to think of what I wanted to wear I kind of want to take a picture like I'm thinking like maybe I should just go out there a little bit earlier so I can get a picture like with my um tripod but um i do want to show you guys what my outfit options are because i was just kind of teetering between two looks so we have contender number one was from when i went to miami what should i put this this is just the amazon dress that is just so cute it's like a it's like a little knitted situation it's kind of a thicker material but we are going out later it's not like lunch where we my air where it would be like hotter so um it's kind of a thick material but it's super long and funky you see how long it is it goes all the way down it's so cute i just love this i wore this in miami if you guys remember um but i never got any like pictures in it or like nothing official but i would love to give this maybe i should i guess i could save this for the fall because it is like a still a pretty thick material like i can't see through this at all it's pretty thick and i'll link this below if anyone like likes this style i think they have other colors or other styles from this like store I think so I was thinking about this because it's kind of casual wear some flats with it uh, when I was in Miami I did wear my Zara flats which I low-key would just wear again <laughs> I kind of would repeat the outfit a little bit because I liked how they that like, came together um pair of shades I had these out I had these shades out for the for this because you guys see it's like perfect it matches perfectly 
but this could always change. I can always just not make it so mitchy matchy. So that was the first suggestion. And then the second, which is honestly, <laughs> I'm liking this a little bit more. Um, oh, you guys won't even be able to pick for me because I'm, <laughs> I'm going out later. But I'm just showing you guys, I guess, what options I have. So I'm liking this one a little bit more. But we have, these are literally the, the jeans I wore yesterday. Was that yesterday? Y'all know how jeans go. I wore these to the store. Oh, this is when I had the orange shirt on. Yeah, and I just went to get some Starbucks. So I pulled these jeans out again because I like the light wash and how they have like the rips. But I like this with this little satin. It's a scarf, but I would just wear it as a shirt. But I was just thinking of like, I like the color combination. You guys see how like it's like these light blues and stuff. I like that. I like the color combo. It's very summery. It's very like pretty pastels and stuff so i would just I'll put this back over here i would tie the shirt like in a triangle or you know like a triangle like this and then put it like this with the back baggy jean i thought that was kind of cute kinda, it might eat a little bit um but my thing is it's just super hard to tie shirts like this like or it's hard to tie it for me because like you it's be sliding down like i'm gonna need some assistance i might need my sister to like tighten it for me when I get to the actual restaurant because it's never tight enough when I do it but that was the option and then I thought about like this with I took these out because I was initially bought these for canvases and cocktails like an outfit idea but I never wore that outfit um so I thought about like these like a statement earring with like the little shirt or a pair of shades which I have options for too I had took out these cream shades because it has like a little bit of cream in this shirt oh it's this way <laughs> so i thought about like a cream shade moment or i took out these because it's like the same it's like this color again inside the um the scarf and then my last thought was this green like pair it's kind of well maybe not for these this one's probably a no because it's more green and this is more of like a blue but this was just like i just kind of pulled these because these were like really chunky and different y'all like they're so out there. They're definitely uh, the color, how light they are. Um, if these were black, they would look. It wouldn't look as like out there. If they, if they, if they were black, I can't even talk. If they were black, so this is my other outfit idea. I'm like teetering between the two because, excuse me, I could always save either or for another occasion. I think my my sister's coming from work actually, so I don't think I don't think she's gonna be dressed up. I think it's just gonna be me. But again, I think I want a picture, so. Um, I may try to take a picture at some point. So I'm just gonna. I did. Take, I did work my double. So I'm ready to take a nap and just kind of chill. It's literally like 10:30. Oh my gosh, it's 11:12. Oh my god. Yeah, I gotta take a nap. <laughs> I gotta take my nap so that I can charge my phone, chill, wake back up, get dressed, and get ready for the rest of the day. So I want to thank you guys for watching. As always, um, I will see you guys in my next video. Stay tuned for New York and bye. Double text got me out of my